Alright, so this first circuit is just making a basic resistor circuit. You have two resistors in series, two in parallel. Um, you're going to connect them all together. You have to make sure that you have a ground um, to set the values. Just double click on each component. Um, get the values from the actual lab report. Um, these nodes are where you're going to be measuring or you're going to be using the circuit lab tool to measure. Uh, as you can see here, here's where we're going to hit the simulation. At the bottom there's a simulation button, so then you can just hit wherever you want to get a measurement. It doesn't exactly have to be on a node, it's just a node make it makes it look nice and it's easier to measure. And you can see here are all, are all the voltages and the current that you'll get as soon as you hit the run simulation button. You get all of your values. <coughs> the next circuit This one's a RC low pass, so a resistor capacitor low pass circuit. Um, put in all your components. Um, the difference between this one is now you're going to have a function generator. So to create a sinusoid, you set it to 10 volts, 100 hertz. Um, set all your values of the capacitor and the resistor. Connect them all together. Make sure that you get a ground in there. Um, it's nice to have the node so you know where to measure. So now you hit the simulate button at the bottom, and this time you go to time domain. Uh, the start time is zero, and it's going to run for 0 0.01 seconds. Uh, the third value there was how many times per uh, per time you're going to measure. So the more you have, the more measurements, but the slower the simulation is going to run. So first we're going to set it at 100 hertz, and you see that you almost get 10 volts, basically 10 volts. As we increase the frequency, the voltage that you get in V out decreases. So here we have like 8 or 9 or something like that. Um, we're going to increase, decrease the time running because we're increasing the frequency, so it's going to run a lot faster. And you see we increase it to 1K hertz, and it's even decreasing the output even more. And this is the last simulation that I run. Uh, next part is the Bode analyzer. You pick V1, which is your input. Hit the node. You take out those two bottom ones because they inserted the capacitor values as well. And here you can see how it drops from high to low and where the cutoff frequency is. The last circuit is a op amp circuit. It's a non inverting amplifier. <coughs> uh, basically, it's just yeah, non-inverting amplifier. This is the interesting part because uh, Circuit Lab already has a bunch of amps, op amps that you can use. There's the one that we want to use. It isn't the exact one because the one that you have in the hardware has two inputs and two outputs. This one is the same one. It's just with one input and one output. Um, so just set up your circuit with the correct values. This is going to take a little bit. Oh, and also you don't have to put in any power into the op amp here in the simulator but you will have to in hardware so usually you have two other inputs which is a positive and a negative voltage to power the op amp which you should have done in another part cool now we're gonna simulate it oh wait forgot the VN <coughs> so you can see the difference between the VN and V out. You're going to simulate it, you go to the time domain, set up for how long it's going to run. You want to run it for longer because it's only 100 hertz. And add in your inputs and outputs, run the simulation. And there you can see the difference between the in and the out. The in is the yellow and the out, well, yellow orange, and the out is the blue. And you can see how much it amplifies, and it's not inverting because it's at the same phase. <coughs> so those are basically just um, three of the circuits of a lot that you have to do, but those go over all the main parts. Um, you won't really have to do anything beyond what I did here. You're just going to have to add more components and wire them together. So also all of the uh, circuit labs I have them shared publicly so you can hit the links in the description. Cool. Hope this helps, guys.